can't believe it's been two years since I started my YouTube channel. All I can say is thank you very much for not only watching, but also subscribing, sharing, and spreading the word. That means a lot to me. To show my appreciation, this video is going to be something different, just like last year. Instead of a review or a comparison, I'll be showing you guys on how to make a video. Keep in mind, I'm not suggesting on spending a fortune on things you need. You're not a Hollywood director. The first thing to consider is what kind of video you want to do. What shall I do? Before I get too far ahead, keep another thing in mind. Uniqueness. I say this because you want your videos to stand out from everyone else's videos. Maybe you want to make a dish. How about a workout video? For the girls, how about a makeup tutorial? You get the idea. Once that's done, the next step is writing the script. Unless you're doing an interview or something along that line, you really want a script. I know that writing isn't for everyone, but without a script, why make a video? Now some videos I've seen the people don't use a script, but for the sake of argument, I recommend using a script. This is also a good way for you to get some practice in writing. While uncommon, having a skill in writing and computers does look good on a resume. Make sure the section you're writing isn't too long. With my videos, I keep it separated into two sections, live action and voiceovers. And keep your sentences short to avoid run-on sentences, comma splices, and so on. While in this stage, keep in mind your audience. For the most part, keep your language in check, even if it's for entertainment purposes. It may be humorous to some, but not everyone will watch your videos if you're too profane. It also makes you look immature. Once the script looks ready, the next step is rehearsal. This will not only warm up the vocal cords, but also help you remember your lines much easier and make you feel more relaxed. Another piece of advice is to practice in front of a mirror. Once you feel good and ready, try practicing in front of the camera, but don't record. This will help you get comfortable being on camera. Speaking of which, make sure you're in a setting with appropriate lighting and is free of excess ambience and people. If this is your first time on camera, try to relax. Your audience will know if you're nervous. They say that public speaking is everyone's fear, but not mine. Once you feel ready, it's time to make a video. Now keep in mind that I'm not making a gameplay or a speed run or whatever. I'm here to show you how to make a basic video. Once you shoot all the videos, the next step is voiceovers. I know not all videos have voiceovers. Unlike video shooting, voiceovers are much easier because the script is in front of you. I recommend MP3 for audio because your files will be smaller and chances are you won't be making loops. They're also good if you want music in your videos. I recommend Audacity for this part along with the lame add-on. You can download this software for free. When you're doing the recording, save the audio file in a folder separate from your videos. Make sure you keep the files simple to remember, like audio 1, audio 2, etc. Same rule for videos as well. Oh, I almost forgot. When you're done shooting a particular section, make sure you mark it off with different colored pens. That way you can keep track of what you have done. I use black for video and red for audio. The next step is the editing. Most people use Adobe After Effects, Sony Vegas, or Final Cut. Use whichever is comfortable for you. This is the most tedious part because you have to make sure that the video flows smoothly, you know what you want on there, and that's time consuming. Once that's done, you're ready to upload your video to YouTube or wherever your channel is. And that is how you make a video. In a nutshell.